Howdy IT aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yatesman. I draw stuff. In today's video I am drawing in a style inspired by HR Giga. The totem design is based on my previous hashtag HR Giga challenge work in which I created the Baticon. My version of the biomechanical style uses primarily pencils. Sometimes I use fine liner, biro, markers or any combination of these. I will use Photoshop to create montages now and then. Anyway, getting back to today, I will be showing you a time lapse of a 60 minute sketch drawn with a range of B and H pencils and a smudge stick. The totem design consists of a biomechanical environment in which there are skulls, worms and walls. This is a work in progress and I end the video having completed the first totem, fleshed out the second one a little bit and just indicated where the third one is meant to go. I begin this sketch by grabbing my ruler and marking in where each of the totems is to be placed. I then roughed out the shape of each of the three skulls. For each skull, like the previous day's Baticon, I extend the two front teeth downwards. I also do this with the next set of teeth and I leave the canines big and pointy. To join the skulls together I wind a big worm through each, entering one eye socket and coming out the other. Once this is done, I set into detailing my sketch. I am applying a lot of arcs to the worm to show that it is cylindrical. Through the skull, I thicken up the lines where there is shadow. To make it easier to draw some of the elements, I rotate my sketch pad. The vertical object in the first totem is a little wonky. Perhaps I should have used my ruler here. To give a biomechanical feel, I segment each column and include some circles on the outer elements. These act as either holes or suckers. As this is meant to be a wall, holes make more sense, though this could be a statue representing a creature, and if that was so, then suckers would be acceptable. Next I wanted to do something with the bottom of the totem and decided that having the columns all merge into a central pipe was the way to go. The result is something that looks like the middle section is receding and more like a mouth or more than a column. Oh well, I can live with that. And with a little more shading I could make it look like the centre reading is the opening to a tunnel that curves downwards. As this is a work in progress I will keep that in mind. The next bit of the video shows me working on, you guessed it, shading and detail. I've darkened the lines of the worm extending through the second and third totems and after that I work on adding detail to totem number two. Uh, following that I ran out of steam which is when I call this a work in progress. So you can see me here just uh, fleshing out the detail of mostly the second and third totem now and I'm planning on doing the background later. So lots of just going over lines to give them shadow and depth and putting in detail to make this look sort of organic. And that is pretty much that. So work in progress of the Scully Con Totem or something like that. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook or journal etc subscribe like and share and perhaps show me what you come up with until next time you've been watching drawing stuff with me paul yateman ciao and take care